Yes, the news went out yesterday after the presidency announced that uh, President Nangolombumba would be commissioning uh, the boundaries or the delimitation commission commissioners for the delimitation commission today and that ceremony is about to start here at uh, state house and i'm joined by the press secretary dr alfredo hengari who yesterday right after the announcement was made uh, also said that the president would be emphasizing the important role that the delimitation commission would be playing in strengthening governance as well as uh, for development planning purposes so dr Hengari, always a pleasure to have you on our platforms. No, it's indeed uh, a pleasure for me to be here uh, to witness uh, a very important occasion uh, whose objective is to strengthen uh, planning and governance in our country. Mm -hmm. So we, we see that the guests have started arriving, the commissioners themselves, as well as uh, with the I see the statistician general, I see the attorney general, all the players, key players in development process, the development planning process. So without preempting, I know it's too early to preempt what President Nangolom Bumba would be expecting from the commissioners. Well, as uh, I've emphasized, the uh, importance of uh, the boundaries, demarcation and delimited commission uh, which is the fifth, fifth commission of its kind uh, since our country uh, gained its independence. Um, and uh, the president in this instance uh, will be giving the commissioners an important charge because uh, last year, as you will recall, our country uh, went through a very important exercise which is the, the National Housing and Population Census whose work was completed um, um, uh, early this year and the results were announced uh, that we have a population of about 3 million and um, so the work that the Commission will be conducting in the next three months will be informed by that census and that is to determine whether there will be a need for our country to create new regions or to create new constituencies taking in consideration the needs of uh, specific populations in uh, those areas because uh, as uh, uh, the president will also emphasized in his charge sheet um, taking in consideration the infrastructure needs uh, the specific needs of our local communities uh, because at the end of the day the work of the commission is about strengthening our governance uh, architecture as well as our democracy because there is an important element to the work of uh, the commission as well which mm -hmm. is um, yes please uh, may we all rise for the arrival of his excellency president of the republic of namibia accompanied by the minister of urban uh, and the minister the president ceremony yes that is please we may be seated commissioning of uh, the commissioners for the delimitation commission thank you Your Excellency, Dr. Nangorombuba, President of the Republic of Namibia, Honorable Elastus Utoni, Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Honorable Christine Nubes, Minister in the Presidency, Honorable Festus Mbadeka, Attorney General, Honorable Lola MacLeod Kachirwa, Governor of the Great Commerce Region, Presidential Advisors Present, Mr. Alex Shimafeni, Statistician General and CEO of the Namibian Statistic Agency, Dr. Elise C. Kikemba, Chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Namibia, Justice Petrus Unenge, and other commissions present. Members of media, good afternoon. My name is on the program, and I'll be directing this very short, yet extremely very important program on the calendar of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Namibia. And without ado, 
I would like and I have an honor to invite Honorable Christine Lubes to the podium to welcome the guest this afternoon. Honorable Minister. Director of Ceremony, Your Excellency Nangulo Mbumba, President of the Republic of Namibia, Honorable Eraste Sutoni, Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Honorable Festus Mbandeka, Attorney General, Honorable Laura McLeod Gachirwa, Governor of Thomas Region, Dr. Elsie Kemba, Chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Namibia, Mr. Alex Shimofeni, Statistician General and CEO of the Namibia Statistics Agency, Justice Pietras Unengu, should I say Chairperson Elect, and members of the Boundaries, Delimitation and Demarcation Commission, esteemed presidential advisors, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. It is my great pleasure, Your Excellency, to welcome you all to this afternoon to mark the official commissioning of the Boundaries, Delimitation and Demarcation Commission. The establishment of this commission in terms of Article 104, sub-Article 1, A and B of the Namibian Constitution signifies another milestone in our nation's commitment to ensuring the accuracy and integrity of our region, regional and local authority boundaries, as well as the naming and renaming of regions, constituencies, etc. As we all know, clear and well-defined boundaries are essential for the stability, security, and development of our country. Your Excellency, the work of this commission is of utmost importance as it guides us in delimiting and demarcating our boundaries in a fair, transparent, and accurate manner by upholding the principles of equity and exclusivity, we can ensure that our boundaries reflect the needs and aspirations of our citizens. Your Excellency, with these few remarks, I wish to extend a word of welcome, particularly to State House, to the members of the Boundaries, Delimitation and Demarcation Commission, and commend them for agreeing to taking on this crucial task dedication to work, expertise, qualifications, and commitment to serve our nation were some of the qualities sought for in determining the composition of this fifth commission. Therefore, your task is cut out for you. Thank you, and may we all hold hands to move forward with determination and purpose in fulfilling this vital mandate, and I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for that kind welcoming of our guest at the State House, and in particular, to this very, very important, uh, important program, which is the commissioning of the Borders, Deliminations, and Demarcation Commission. Having said that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's now my distinct honor and privilege to invite His Excellency Dr. Nangorum Bumba, President of the Republic of Namibia, to deliver his charge on the commission. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Let us sit down, please. <clears throat> uh, 
Thank you very much, Ambassador Leonard Pumbu, Chief of Protocol and our Director of this program. Honorable Ministers, Erasmus Utoni of Urban and Rural Development, Honorable Christine Huepes, Minister in the Presidency, Attorney General Festus Mbandeka, the Governor, I'm sure she wants to say, of the great commerce region. At least there is no question, it is the most centrally located capital region. Honorable invited guest, honorable commissioner to be soon, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to welcome you to State House this afternoon. In 2023, Cabinet resolved that a Boundaries Delimitation and Demarcation Commission should be established upon completion of the 2023 Population and Housing Census. I'm, I'm glad the, the man with the figures is here. Although there was a postponement with the initial release of the census results, which delayed the establishment of this commission, I am happy to now announce the appointment of the delimitation commission so it can commence its crucial work. In this regard, by virtue of the powers vested in me by Article 104, bracket 2, read together with Section 5, bracket 1 of the Regional Council Act, number 22 of 1992, as amended, I have appointed the members of the Boundaries Delimitation and Demarcation Commission to conduct an assessment of the current boundaries of regions and constituencies in Namibia with view to comment, to recommend whether any changes to existing boundaries are required, are needed, and are beneficial. Beneficial to who? Beneficial to the people of Namibia. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2024, no, ladies and gentlemen, 2024 is the year of expectations, year of elections. In light of this, there is much work expected of the Boundaries Delimitation and Demarcation Commission. The report of the commission will greatly assist the work of the Electoral Commission of Namibia. Its head is here. Thank you very much for joining us. Enabling the registration of eligible voters in the correct regions and correct constituencies. Therefore, this is not a task that must be taken lightly. Seeing that the foundations of our democracy must be reinforced by accurate, reliable, and relevant information. We take note that we have not now passed the beautiful one million mark in terms of our population. As a result, the work of this commission will provide us with valuable insights into the changing demographics of our nation, which now comprises of the majority being youth. To this end, the government will, based on the work of the Commission, formulate responsible policy interventions. Distinguished members of the Commission, your terms of reference are clear. By the way, the Commission already have their letters of appointment. Today, I charge you 
to without delay commence with the task at hand. As you have a very limited time frame of only three months in which you are expected to deliver the result and present it to us. Therefore, it is imperative that you acquaint yourself with the preliminary population and housing report and other relevant government policies as they relate to our population. In this way, you will be in better place to deliver contextual result that will inform government's developmental agenda. I implore you to work as a team, united by single purpose of contributing to the welfare and prosperity of the Namibian people. I am confident that you will meticulously execute this significant national assignment with utmost dedication and professionalism. I congratulate you on your appointments and appreciate your willingness to volunteer your expertise and knowledge as patriots towards building a peaceful, united, and prosperous Namibian house. Finally, I urge all institutions in Namibia, all officials in Namibia, and even individual Namibian citizens to give you as commissioners, members of the commission, all required assistance and support in order for you to fulfill your mandate and then deliver the needed result. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, I think it's, 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 it's extremely very important that you join me in once again uh, thanking our head of states for the charge so delivered. Thank you. Yes, the a charge, the study has been delivered, uh, clearly stated the responsibilities. It is therefore now my privilege to invite Justice Petrus Unenge, Chairperson of the Borderless Deliminations and Demarcations Commission, to acknowledge. No, no. First. No, no. no first, first, we have to yes. Please come. Thank you. Just the other floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director of the Ceremonies. <clears throat> your, your Excellency, Mr. Nangono Mbumba, the President of the Republic of Namibia, Honorable Ministers, you're present. The Honorable Attorney General, First, Mr. Festus Katuna Mbandeka, members of the media, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a distinct honor and a great pleasure for me and my fellow commissioners to accept the appointment as commissioners to serve on this fourth delimitation and demarcation commission. So we do that without reservations. That the task on us is not an easy one to perform. It is known to us. 
the challenges and the expect expectation it carries with are huge. But with hard work, dedication, it is my belief that as professionals, with the assistance from your office, Mr. President, we will rise to the occasion and carry out the duty and functions in the terms of reverence diligently. As I said, with your assistance, by that I mean that we have to be provided or to put in position of logistics, like manpowers, we have to be capacitated med powers and other uh, necessities in order for us to perform our duty. So, Your Excellency, with these few words, I want to thank you for the trust you have put in us. We undertake not to betray that trust but we'll try to the best of our ability to accomplish our mission. I right, thank you. It's either we clap hands or we don't do. And if we do it, we do it, Namibians. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Justice Unenge who delivered his acceptance statements on behalf of his colleague, the commissioners. It's all done. And now we will move as we, I mean, I would like to announce that as we move on, now that His Excellency has delivered his charge, you have accepted as commissioner, His Excellency will now um, hand over the letters of appointment. And it's my honor to invite you, Excellency, to um, come near the podium that I invite the commissioner, as I invite you, you then come forward to receive the letters. You may be seated. Justice Petrus Unenge, Mrs. Priska Enyoro. Mr. Herod, good up. <laughs> Mr. Pina, stop now. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. We are almost at the end of our program. I would, however, like to announce that after we officially close the program, 
I invite all the commissioners to join His Excellency for a photo. Uh, just outside the hall, protocol will be able to direct you just near the water fountain there. Having said that, I would like to take this opportunity first to thank your co to thank Comrade President for his time that he made available for this afternoon. Uh, this afternoon to commission the commissioners to carry on they are very important um, tasks that they've been given. We know His Excellency have a very heavy schedule, but still could find time to officiate this program. Let me also thank all the Honorable Ministers uh, for accepting the invitations. We thank the Commissioners for being present, and of course, to congratulate you, and I wish you well in your new responsibilities. Thank the media. I know they will do a good job. As you can see, the hall, we are very, very few here, but the majority of our people are out there. So media plays extremely very important. Also thank the chairperson of the uh, Electoral Commission of Namibia, the general statisticians for being present here. All in all, we thank ourselves, of course, the our advisors, the AD, who truly put this program together, all of you are, you are highly appreciated. Having said that, Your Excellency, we have come to the end of the program. I would then invite that you join His Excellency for the official photo outside the hall. Thank you. which clearly states the responsibilities expected uh, over the next three months for the commissioners. And I am still joined by the press secretary of here at the presidency, Dr. Alfredo Hengari. Doctor, the president clearly outlined what he expects from the new commissioners for the fifth uh, delimitation commission. Now, given the three months and him also emphasizing that it's for developmental purposes, that will actually, mm -hmm. the report that the commissioners will produce will help inform government in planning for development, bringing services closer to the people and, and so on. Given the three months, Dr. Hengari, is it enough for the commissioners to carry out the work as expected? As a government, uh, we have the experience of uh, drawing from the work of previous commissions, uh, which in some instances the work was carried over a period of six months. And uh, in the judgment of government this time around, uh, the, the three months have been considered to be quite sufficient. And as President Mumba emphasized uh, the commissioners are expected to be meticulous because these are individuals of uh, high standing in our country uh, with uh, different uh, levels of skills uh, but competent in terms of the task that, he, that is expected from them and uh, it is in that vein that the president um, so it fit to appoint them. Uh, to perform this very important exercise, specifically after um, an important census that we undertook last year. Um, if it happens that uh, the, the work, which is quite important, is not complete, I'm sure the President will apply his mind in terms of uh, giving the Commission extra time. But uh, the emphasis was on also on Namibians cooperating with uh, the Commission, uh, Namibians playing their part uh, in terms of uh, this very important exercise, as President Bumba has em emphasized, which seeks to strengthen uh, service delivery um, and governance of the country in a much broader sense. A bit on the expertise of the individuals who were just appointed as mm -hmm. the commissioners, drawn from various fields. So, given the complexity of the exercise that they would be taking, uh, undertaking, that is, mm -hmm. uh, 
is that what also informed uh, President Bumba's appointment? We listened to some members of the some members of Parliament expressing also their views during the debating stage before the initial before the actual appointment was made. Mm. Namibia is uh, indeed a vibrant democracy, and um, the uh, Parliament plays a very important role in terms of oversight. Uh, but at the end of the day, the president has to take the decisions uh, consistent with his convictions and also having listened to Namibians. And uh, indeed, the members of the commission represent the diversity of our country and uh, the skill set is, that is there is uh, necessary to perform this task, but it's also important for me to emphasize here as the president also correctly stated, um, various uh, agencies of government will uh, play their part and citizens will also have to play their part in terms of making submissions because this is a collective exercise. It's about the success of Namibia and it's about all of us uh, holding, hands and holding hands and building that inclusive Namibian house as President Mumba also emphasized drawing from the legacy of President Gengo. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ngari, as we are rounding up this broadcast, the president also strongly mentioned the youth demographic. Exactly. And given the year that we are in, an election year, mm -hmm. and here you also emphasized that, that uh, people, or Namibians in general, will have mm -hmm. to cooperate with the commissioners during this exercise. Why do you think that, the, or perhaps is there another reason why the president strongly um, outlined the participation of uh, the youth demographic in an exercise such as this? Um, the president believes strongly in uh, young people um, and um, drawing from uh, uh, the po population census which uh, correctly um, informed us that 71% um, of Namibians are youth. Uh, therefore, this is an exercise about their future and uh, their participation in um, a process of this nature is important. Uh, and also, the President correctly highlighted that aspect to put specific spotlight on the importance of young people in uh, our planning processes, because this is work that speaks to the future of our country, and uh, the future is about young people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Ngari, your office, just as we were starting the broadcast, also announced that President Bumba would be undertaking uh, activities in the South, including engaging the traditional leadership mm -hmm. within, within uh, of the two southern regions. So just to take us through the activities of uh, Dr. Bumba over the next few days. Yeah, um, since uh, the president came into office, um, uh, President Bumba has been uh, leading a number of consultations uh, here in the presidency, uh, as well as across uh, different regions of the country. You recall that uh, the president was invited to his parish in Olukonda, and uh, he used that occasion to lead consultations with uh, leaders in the northern part of the country, uh, on the eve of our 34th independence anniversary, uh, President Mumba also held, held consultations with um, uh, traditional leaders in uh, the Zambezi region, highly successful consultations, which uh, brought a number of uh, leaders from that region in one room in a conversation with the president about uh, the role they have to play and they continue to play in uh, nation building, in uh, advising government in terms of, um, of planning as well as service delivery. Um, yes, uh, this week uh, the president will travel tomorrow to the southern part of our country, which as you know uh, is quite important in terms of uh, uh, its contributions to our national economy. We have a number of mining activities there and uh, also a number of excellent tourist, tourist attractions. But what is important to emphasize here is that the president will also be 
visiting uh, uh, a number of green hydrogen sites in Luderitz, um, having discussions with uh, communities, explaining to them the importance of this very important endeavor that we have been engaging, which is not just about our economic development as a country, but also Namibia's contribution to the global decarbonization agenda. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of interest in our country because in that part of our country, we have uh, excellent wind and uh, solar resources. That's why it's attractive. Uh, and also, uh, the president will lead consultations with traditional leaders in the South, which has been a hallmark of his leadership style, inclusion, consultation, in order to take decisions that are in the best interest of our country. But I must also mention here that President Mumba is also the Chancellor of the University of Namibia. So he will uh, uh, lead an important graduation ceremony at the southern campus of the University of Namibia. Mm -hmm. And we'll also talk to uh, the leadership of NIMT, which is quite important in terms of vocational training, um, education, and uh, which in terms of uh, both the Harambe Prosperity Plan 1 and 2, has been uh, given due recognition and excellent spotlight in terms of its potential to address specifically youth unemployment. So the president will have a highly packed agenda in the south. He will also visit uh, Shark Island, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, um, a recognition of the role um, 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 some of these uh, communities have played in terms of our history. Some of them suffered from the genocide. Mm -hmm. And President Bumba has been uh, leading negotiations, as you know, mm -hmm. the, the initiative around the 1904 genocide. So these are things that uh, speak to um, the agenda of the president in, 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 in the remaining months that are uh, ahead of us. Thank you so much, Dr. Ngari. I see that the president's program is quite uh, packed and we will also keep up by bringing some of the engagements of uh, President Bumba on and, our screens over the weekend. And quickly, just to also add to the fact that uh, there might be traditional leaders in other parts of the country, you may feel that uh, the president has not yet spoken to them. Uh, we have to reassure them that the president will find time to engage all traditional leaders in the 14 regions of our country. In uh, the coming uh, uh, 12 or so days, the president will be um, in the Kavango regions where he will also engage traditional leaders in that part of the country and other Namibians uh, in uh, those uh, parts of our country. Mm -hmm. all right. So no one will be left out. Thank you so much, mm. Dr. Ngari. No one will be left out as our viewers has, have also been informed of the president's engagements over the next few days, as well as the initial ceremony that was the commissioning for commissioning of the commissioners for the delimitation commission. That's it from us here at State House.